Hey guys, the objective of this video is looking at integration using hyperbolic substitution. I'm only going to be doing one video on this, it's just not a big focus of the course, um, but it's still good to just to know how to do it. So, just to recall a couple things, what the hyperbolic functions are. So, the hyperbolic function, we have sine hx equals e to the x minus e to the minus x on 2, cosh x equals e to the x plus e to the minus x on 2, okay? So we saw some examples using these hyperbolic function in previous uh, in a previous topic. Now, it, a port, an important hyperbolic identity, which is going to come in handy when we do integration, is cos squared hx minus sine squared hx equals one. Okay, that's just an important identity. Just to remind you of the derivatives of hyperbolic functions, the derivative of sine hx equals cosh x. The derivative of cosh x equals sine hx. Okay. Now, integration using hyperbolic functions, we're going to have, say, the integral of dx on the square root of x squared plus a squared equals inverse sine h of x on a plus c. Now, this also equals ln x plus square root x squared plus a squared plus a constant a. Okay, so these are actually equivalent. You get this answer when you use trig substitution. You get this answer when you use... Um, hyperbolic substitution and for this case you, you let the